Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic Park for Super Nintendo. This is part two. Let's do this. When we last left off, we had just got finished with the Nublar Utility Shed, and we will have to use the Cattle Prod to open this gate up. You don't want to touch it, otherwise you will get shot and apparently killed. Another mosquito there. You won't see many of those in this game. That's the stun gas grenades, in case you're wondering what they look like, and even more Gallimimus. I'll go ahead and... I'll well go ahead and clear out the, uh, clear out the line so that way I can go get through all these Gallimimus in case I have the return here, which I definitely will a couple of times. Turn the corner. Okay, there we go. All right. We're now in the visitor center. Grand level right now. This food will always respawn, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bolas right now. So I can reserve what little ammo I have at the moment. There's gonna be a dinosaur right here. I mean, it should be popping out right now. There it is. And it's just there for the heck of basically freaking you out. Kill off that spitter. Get some more rocket launcher ammo. Now the restaurant. Back in the restaurant. There's the... Yeah, this will lead to the kitchen, I believe. Okay, maybe not. We do have more rocket launcher ammo. And when time we're done with this area, we'll have more than enough to get through the entire game with. That's the thing with the rocket launcher ammo. You don't start at... If you just stick the explosives throughout the game, you're probably going to run out of that or the bola first. And, yeah, that's the kitchen. And this rocket launcher ammo will always respawn whenever you leave the floor or leave the building. Cer certain, certain, certain ammo pickups in certain locations will always respawn. Certain dinosaurs will always respawn. And he's right behind me, isn't he? Thankfully, we have this. Quite a lot of dinosaurs to go through with this one. I'll save my uh, bolas for when we have to go through multiple ones. And we need John Hammond's ID card to go through that door. But we'll find it soon enough, don't worry. And you'll need night vision goggles to go through that area. So, yeah, we're going to have to make a mental note of this for right now. Can't remember if I went through this door or not. Yes, I have. This one it is, I think. No? Okay, I guess I went in a the circle then. But we'll still need it. See if there's anything else to do around here. Okay, for a minute I thought I just... For a minute I thought my uh, controller just stopped working. Apparently not. Yeah, this is, we're, we're going in a loop now, so let's just get out of here. And check out rest, the rest of this area. I actually played this the day before, before I started LPing this, and it took me four hours to beat it. Now granted, I had my own blog notes working for me, but still, it was a lot longer than I expected it to be because, well, it's kind of easy to get lost through these quarters at times. And while there aren't any dinosaurs in this room, I want to go in through the other door so that I can better show what's in there. Kill off some of these spitters. Yeah, I know, it's not very... F it's, 
not very exciting going through these things. And I just heard I just heard a raptor. Uh I'll go ahead and take the uh take the take the uh, first aid kits just to get through all that. Just so I can say that I got all this got all this ammo. Another dinosaur, another raptor to kill, and you'll need Dennis Nedry's ID card to get through that. So, there's not much in, on the first floor either. <clears throat> that in mind, yeah, that's basically it. There's not much to this when you don't have any of the ID cards. And we can go up another floor and go up to rooftop level. There's not much to it either, but at least the frame rate is a lot better, and if I could actually not miss this thing, it would be really good! Thank you! I'll go ahead and save that first aid kit for later. There's another raptor to the right. I wish he'd show up. Well, it's later. Thankfully, there's not much after that. Save for this door, which acts as an exit, and it takes us to the roof of this. Switch to the battle prod to get rid of these compies. And whoa, yeah, you want to be careful near some of these, some parts of the rooftop because sometimes raptors will just leap out at you just out of nowhere. Now we got another egg. Fourteen left. And get over here. I'm basically up. Yep, that's Hammond's like guitar. That was basically like right o uh, above that dinosaur, so I couldn't kill it. Sadly. Get over here. Yeah, might as well. Wasn't there something else over here that I wanted to mention? I want to think so. There it is! There's the H! Another one of the letters. So we got... I think two of the R's. Three, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, we got the egg here. So let's go back down to the first floor where we... Oh, these things reset too. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, let's just go back down to the first floor, hit up that door that had the requirement of John Hammond's ID card. Do these respawn? Yes, they do. Why not? I hear a spitter. Yeah, just go through that just for the sake of saying we have everything. I'd rather stock up now. No, wait, that's... No, wait, that's... I'm derping here. What am I doing? That's right, we have to go back to the ground floor, that's right. But, eh, whatever. I actually got some more ammo. By the time I pretty much get done with this part, I should have more than enough, like I said I would. Go back to the ground level. Let's go this way, because this is the, this is the place that will lead us to it. Go ahead and get that rocket launcher ammo. Yeah, if you stick to the explosives, you're going to have a good treasure trove of stuff to use. That's not it. It's this door. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, remember this this one. Yes, yeah, this one. I don't even like you. Go away. And it leads us to this second elevator, which we will need to access more of the visitor center. Okay, I hear a spitter. There's one nearby. Oh, of course, it's going to be behind this wall, isn't it? Yep. Center, just to make sure. Oh, night vision goggles. Back up. Yeah, you did not last long. Nothing. Oh, hi. Um, this one. And basically the door blocked it from hitting me. Oh, you jerk. Okay. And here is the night vision goggle battery. So we can use this. Get all the way back. And if I want to think correctly, it's... Eh, kill him anyway. We, we were somewhere around here. I want to think... Yeah, this is this one. Hit up this one first. Ah, I should have used Ebola. Wider radius. Eh, no regrets. And... We got ammo, so... Uh... The elevator is this way. Right. Okay. Go back down. Wait, where are we? Well, back on ground level. Yeah, we're on sub level, I think. I can't even remember where I am. Yeah, we're on sub level. Upwards is ground level. That's right. It's, it, it, this is gonna. This is gonna probably gonna be a thing, viewers. Just bear with me. Go ahead, grab this ammo here. No, not that one. I think it's this one. One of them. Want to hit up that other night vision goggle room before you? Yep, that's it. That's the one. Gotta be careful going in through here because this guy. And inside is Alan Grant's ID. Why would Alan Grant leave an I his own ID card in a room that would require the night vision goggles and would kill him if he entered? the room without it. How do you even do this? <sighs> what? Oh my god. Get... Just from that you can tell how downhill this game is going to get. And... Yeah, I might as well go ahead and stop it right here. Join me next time where we go through those doors and do things, I guess. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Till next time, take care, stay safe.